Hey everyone. So I wanted to make a short video here kind of highlighting my process on creating this helmet in, uh, in ZBrush and basically going over how easy it is to create a lot of these hard surface shapes uh, when it comes to just using polygrouping. Um, I made this entire helmet only using the Move Brush and um, Z Modeler purely by grabbing edges like you see here, polygrouping them, separating them, extracting them, and then creasing the edges between polygroups. And that's why you'll see, like, you'll see a definitive separation of every angled uh, shape that I wanted to create uh, a hard creased edge or hard surface uh, detail. So like I extracted these pieces from the actual helmet and did a quick dynamesh, shaped them up the way I wanted them to be, which is like this diamond shape with, again, a crease down the middle. So you'll see separate polygroups. Everywhere I want a hard surface or I want a crease, I'm adding a new polygroup. And just duplicating that, bringing it back down here to the bottom, um, it's a really easy workflow. And, you know, a lot of people ask, like, well, how many do you use, like, you know, have a lot of polished brushes or what's your way of trying to, like, create those really smooth slopes or... Uh, like like harsh transitions and now like I try to do as much as I possibly can with polygroups creasing and testing it out using dynamic subdies first like that's what I'm doing here I haven't subdivided anything I'm working with everything at a uh, low poly form creasing the edges of polygroups there's the reference just to give you an idea of what I'm going off of here and yeah just kind of, like I said, using the same methodology for every single piece before I even consider using any other brush or any other type of uh, sculpting tool. You know, you can get away with doing a lot just by creasing edges and using, using polygroups uh, for hard surfaces. And again, like here I go again, extracting another piece, trying to minimize and be quick about my workflow and not, you know, introducing new pieces. Like once I introduce the initial sphere that I, that I appended into the scene, everything else has been created off of the existing geometry in the scene. Anyway, I hope this is beneficial and I hope this gives you a quick insight as to how easy uh, and how quick and simple and clean your hard surface sculpting and modeling can be um, if you utilize you know, tools like Z Modeler uh, effectively. Thank you. And if you'd like to see more content like this, uh, then don't hesitate to check me out on YouTube, ArtStation, and Twitch. Um, again, look forward to seeing you in the next video. And again, thank you for your support. Take care. Bye-bye.